and a half down, five and a half down. Nine forward. Episode 7 of Death's Game starts with Ji Hyung Yi Jae visiting the person who took the fall for Ji Soo's accident in prison. Since the public knows Tai U's evil doings, the deal he had promised does not stand, and he now wants to confess that he took the fall for Tai U. However, Yi Jae is not about to let him. He tells him he believes his claim because he witnessed it and has the dash camera's memory card to prove his innocence. However, Ye Jae, the detective, is not here to help him escape jail. He destroys the memory card and tells him to spend the rest of his prison sentence thinking about and regretting his choices. Next, Ye Jae visits Taeyu in the hospital, who is in a vegetative state, and then goes back to living the life of Ji Hyung. Ye Jae and his partner solve several cases, gaining the respect of other police officers. One day, they get into a fight with some criminals, and his partner is seriously injured. At the hospital, his wife and daughter visit him, and Yi Jae takes the daughter out to have snacks to give the mother and father a chance to talk. The daughter opens up about her fears anytime her father goes to work. She worries that he will get seriously injured, and Yi Jae promises always to protect him. In the next scene, Ji Hyung and his partner are running after a suspect, and he leads them to the top of a building. Seeing that he has no way out, the suspect takes a gun out of his bag and starts shooting at them. He shoots Yi Jae's partner in the leg and Yi Jae in the arm. Yi Jae remembers his promise to his daughter and decides to save his partner by sacrificing himself. Yi Jae meets with Death, who is furious because he killed himself. Yi Jae is not sorry about killing himself since he believes he sacrificed his life to save his partner. Death suddenly asks Yi Jae who he is, and before he can ask questions to understand the question, Death shoots him, and he goes to his next life. Yi Jae wakes up as a homeless man and sees news about Ji Hyung's funeral. He is proud of his deeds until he realizes nobody recognizes his contribution. He might have helped Ji Hyung create memories that people cherish, but these achievements belong to An Ji Hyung and not Choi Ye Jae. Outside, he sees Ji Hyung's partner crying and blaming himself for his death, since he had earlier mentioned something about sacrificing himself for his partner. The detective furiously asks who the homeless man is, and Deet's question hits home. Yeja wonders who he is as his previous life flashes through his mind and realizes he no longer knows who he is. Yeja remembers Jisoo's words and is dejected that no matter how many times he reincarnates, he will never live as Yeja. He sees the memories of the homeless man approaching, and he pleads with death to stop the pointless reincarnations. As he runs down the stairs, he trips and falls to his death. Yeja meets death eager to be sent to the next life. Death realizes that Yi Jae is not learning his lesson, so he plays another trick on him by turning back time and sending Yi Jae into the life of the person who committed suicide and turning Yi Jae's life upside down on the day of the interview. Death is watching Yi Jae struggle while lying in a pool of blood behind Tai U, which makes Tai U get the idea that the man was asking for his help looking at him like he was a god. Yi Jae dies again, and this time, Death is eager to point out that she gave him a chance to reset his life, and he blew it. Yi Jae still holds that Death is merely a means of ending his pain, and he is eager to end the next life regardless of the body that Death gives him. Death doubts Yi Jae will end his next life as easily as he thinks, and true to her words, Yi Jae wakes up as his mother. If you are watching this channel for the first time, hit the subscribe button and watch other episodes. Until then, it's me, Mitsubishi, signing off.